Thomas by Sonny Rollins. Right, we're going to work on this right hand again. And uh, what we're going to do, chaps, is work on using the thumb and the first two fingers. In the left hand, we're going to be do, doing fours, ascending all the way up the, the neck of the guitar. But as you know, this is not all about the left hand. It's about developing the right hand. But let me show you what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be starting with fourths. Now I'm in second position, and all I'm playing here on the D string, I'm playing an E, second fret, and the G string, playing an A, second fret. So that's me on second position. We're going to move it up the guitar, so that's second position, fourth, sixth, seventh, ninth, eleventh. And when we get to the 13th, instead of playing 4th, we're going to be playing 3rd, which is the E with the G sharp. And then we're going to resolve that onto the A. So I've come a full octave. Let me show you that again. 2nd, 4th, 6th, 7th, 9th, 11th, 13th, and then resolve it. And what we're going to do in the right hand, which is more important here, guys, is the thumb is going to be playing the bass, which is going to be a pedal A. Pedal just means, even though the chords might change, the bass note stays the same. So this A is going to be played all the time with the thumb. And all we're going to use is the first and the second fingers, right? So when I'm holding the shape down, my first finger is on the D string, and my second finger is on the G string. So... And what we're going to play is thumb, and then the next two strings play together. up the neck of the guitars like this. Once you get into the way of that, we'll start changing those two fingers to three fingers. So there again, we're just going to be playing, thumb will continue to play this pedal A bass. And then we've got the D string, the G string, but this time the B string. So we're getting this. And again, do this end and again. So it's second, I'll run through it again. Second, fourth, sixth, seventh, ninth, eleventh, and the thirteenth, change it to a third. So that's the E and the G sharp. Then the last one, just to resolve it, they bring it back to the fourth, the G sharp becomes an A. So let's do it now with the three fingers. Here we go. Cool. Right, now what we're going to do is develop that. Instead of playing the three strings starting with the D string, we're going to play the three trebles, right? So I'm just going to be playing the A bass, and the G, the B, and the E string, three trebles. And it's like everything else, guys, to play quickly, you first play slowly and you build it up. So nice and easy again. Same chord, same position, so here we go again. Instead of just playing as a block chord, we'll split that up and we'll play it in a preview, okay? So again, we'll do it like we did in the very first uh, first example I gave. So we're going to be playing on the D string, the G string, and the B string, and then A pedal bass. So all we're doing is this. Nice and easy and nice and slowly. And if you can, again, I've said this at the very beginning, guys, I know it's hard, but try really to have a free right hand. If you can nail this at the beginning, is great, it's, which is really difficult. I've guys have been sort of playing finger style for years and I've got their hand clamped here so they can't move or their pinky clamped here. And as I said earlier on, the reason why we don't want that is because that means we're limited to one tone. If we can develop this right free right hand, it means we can, we can vary the tones that we're playing. Again, I know it's not easy and sometimes my right hand falls down, but I'm always conscious of it and always try and do it. So it's a thing to work on, and while we're playing slowly here, it's a thing to try and 
concentrate. So here we go again, playing pretty slowly. <laughs> same exercise only this time after we play the pedal A we're going to use the three trebles the G, B and E. Okay here we go again. <laughs> and we'll try and get a wee bosser rather than going here and what we're going to do we're going to refer to the dum chain this is used quite a lot for teaching and it's really quite a really good way of putting over what you mean so in this case let's just hold an A major 7 chord here in the first position okay so the thumb will play the A bass that's the dum and then the three fingers will play the three treble strings that's the ching so that's dum ching dum ching it's actually used it's actually used quite a lot and it's quite effective as I say at putting things over. So we're going to play an easy bosser rhythm like this. And all I'm doing here is I'm playing the bass and the trebles together. Right? And then I'm playing ching, the trebles, then dum. So it's all together, ching, then dum, ching, I'll do it slowly then I'll build it up together. Now you can add your wee variations on that, it doesn't have to be bang on, as long as you get that sort of bosser rhythm. go through it again. We play with a pedal bass. Pedal just means the bass remains the same although the chords can change. We started with just two fingers going up in fours. Then we did three fingers. And then we moved to the other trebles. Let's do just one last thing on the pregos. Uh, again, we'll hold an A major seventh chord. So we'll play bass, right, and then we'll use the G, the B, and the E strings. Play a slower pregio. Only this time we'll come back on the B and the G strings. So it's again, when you first start this, your hands will bounce all over the place and you want to hold on. Really try and resist doing that. Do that again really slowly. So that's the bass, G string, B string, E string, B string, G string, and just play it very slowly to get a, a really, really nice feel on it, and it's going really nice, a nice sort of legato feeling, flowing, so like this. get it guys and again that more you play it the clicking will get just a nice floor movement and then after a while you'll be able to vary between uh, between playing our pregos and be playing like some bots or rhythms swing rhythms all the different sort of things you need like Okay guys, 
guys, that's all for now. So thanks for watching. Just remember, keep working at it. In fact, you don't even really need to hold anything in the left hand. Again, what I used to do when I was learning was just sit and watch the TV or the computer or whatever and just play open arpeggios. Just like that. Just to get the right hand used to being free and moving it on down to get the tone. So thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you again sometime when we'll do some more on the art of fingerstyle on an electric guitar.